What is up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, Jobby Garrett. And in this video, uh, it might be two videos today, but my buddy wanted to see... My buddy's been thinking about uh, starting a YouTube channel, and he wanted to see how my setup goes, so I figured I'd just make another... Uh, just make a video for YouTube showing how I make YouTube videos, just in case anybody out there in the universe wants to see how to make a YouTube video if you've ever been thinking about it. So this is kind of for you, this tutorial. I'm gonna really just like, it's not really, it's gonna be like a complete breakdown more so than a step-by-step -step guide, step-by-step -step tutorial or whatever. It's gonna be, you know, I'm just gonna show you how I do my workflow and as much of the stuff as I can think of. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Let me shrink myself and let's talk about it. So, how to start YouTube. Oh, Jabba Garrett's set up. I uh, need to make a smiley. Anyway. Uh, so you got to get recording software, video compressing software. This, this is for me, okay? This might not be for you. If this isn't for you, just don't. Just ignore it or whatever. But if you don't know what to do, just if you copy me, you can make videos. Because I make videos, regardless if they're good or not. I still make the video. It'll, it's one of the steps. Anyway. So you get recording software, video compressing software, video editing software, image editing software. And then the, the free-to-play setup is OBS, Open Broadcast System. Uh, just... Google that OBS, it'll download it. Uh, handbrake, that's your compressing. So like when I make audio, when I looked up, or when I make video, when I looked up, they said you want to record an MKV because it's better for like, if there's corrupted data, you won't lose the whole file. You'll only lose little bits of it. So like, that's the danger of like recording an MP4, I guess. So I just do, I just do what the internet told me. So I just record an MKV and I uh, compress it with handbrake into MP4. And then um, the free to play version, when I first started with it was DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it's it's pretty simple, easy to get into. You can do the basics with it. It's a little bit slower, but they give you a free package that's slow on purpose so that you're more opted to buy their pro package or whatever like that. Uh, but if you're going to buy, I would just suggest getting through Adobe. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get there, though. Uh, and then Paint 3D for making thumbnails. Paint 3D, Microsoft, Paint 3D is doing, like, it did. It worked. You got to, like, do some tricks to get your thumbnail to work the same way as like Photoshop and Photoshop has a lot more elements and stuff like that. But this did do good enough to create a lot of different thumbnails because they have AI tools in paint 3d now. So anyway, now here's the play to play version I use. And that is still OBS. Cause I haven't found a paid version. That's better than OBS. It doesn't do what it does. Then there's handbrake again, cause it works just good enough. And then I just picked up the Adobe Premiere package. If you're going to pick this up, I'd wait till black Friday. They usually have a black Friday, which reduced the price. I think for like 50% for me. So I, it was, you know, and I just, if you buy yearly, if you save up money for Black Friday, like starting like right now, uh, if you're like somebody who's like uh, working in retail or something like that, you could probably save up for, for it by Black Friday and then get the sale, then purchase for a year, then forget about it for a year and then really know if you're going to do YouTube or not anyway. So here's my uh, workflow. Breakdown, start to finish video. This one, lol, 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 lol. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to, I'm just using this video as... An example for my uh, showing my workflow and stuff like that. So the first thing I do is I get an idea. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. That might be another video if you want to if you need help finding ideas. But my ideas usually start as a title and thumbnail idea. I write it in text. I write the idea down. I don't try to draw a picture or anything like that. I know some people are like that. I'm just more text oriented. Um. So. Uh. Yeah, so essentially what I do, like I'll just show you yesterday's content board. So I got like a notebook pad. Can you see that? I gotta put it. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll like write down the, the ones that need to get done. So I do five videos a day. So I write down five videos in order of uh, priority. And that changes day to day depending on how they're doing or how I feel I should be addressing issues with my channel and stuff like that. Channels like that. So I'll write down just like, like, for instance, React, Seven Days, StarCraft Brood War, Main Channel, OSRS. And then I will just make a dash. And then I wanted to try a um, an idea out for all five that is relatively the same and see how they perform on all five channels with different audiences, that the two the, the different audiences I have for all, on these channels. So I wrote down the title for each one. And then below that, I, like, use the bottom half. I don't know. Yeah, my, my AI is going to block that unless it's close to my face. So I use the bottom half to then use text. And this also, too, it's nice, too. If I use a small note card, it forces me to write the ideas as simply as possible based on the literal amount of space that I have to write them. So, like, like for instance, like the, the, the one here, that's it's just the size, the space I had to write about the last thumbnail. But it had to be the size of my half my figure here. So that it had to be a very simple idea. Um, 
So now I write down what I want in the thumbnails, like elements, like this one, for instance, OSRS, uh, Tutorial Island. Off Tutorial Island, uh, character with my, my face, and then uh, we're both shaking our head, something like that, you know, a basic idea to get me started. Then the main channel will be the thumbnail, two split frames, money uh, for a port, like a low paid job on the left side and a high paid job on the right side. Etc. Okay, so then you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, there's not really too much to talk about my notes. The second half of my notes is usually building a storyboard based off the idea I start. So, essentially, like what I'll do is I'll put the title up top and I'll go, Okay, what do I need to do? What's the first thing? So, you know, there's the subject, whatever. And then, what's the first thing I need to do? I'll make a dash, whatever. And then, I'll start typing out the first step, second step, third step, fourth step whatever until I got a full storyboard and then essentially what I do to make the storyboard longer is you know I'll get my normal 100 view here and then I'll zoom it out and I'll usually grab the bottom and then I'll stretch it out so that I have infinite room for me to make a video as long as it needs to be so then uh, after we are get the storyboard ready to go and stuff like that I have something to reference and have something for the viewer to watch uh, so they can kind of see what's going up next this is you know this is just what I do now so I'm gonna iterate it over and over again just try to make it better but anyway uh, we shoot. We start to shoot. So I'll kind of just bring my OBS over. Now we do that is like you need to like get OBS, <laughs> get OBS, and then make a video capture input, uh, audio output, game capture, display capture. Get your settings right. You, you mainly want an input and you want an output going out in case you got like a uh, like you played a game or something like that. And then you'll come over here and just hit start recording. And then now you're recording. And then here we are, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I'll make myself big. You'll do, you know my intro style, but yeah. So then we'll shoot, 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 talk about everything. And then we will hop into, once the video is done, we will pop over to, oh, wait, wait, wait. So one thing I wanted to bring up real quick is uh, this thing called NVIDIA Broadcast. And if you use this for your input for your mic, it'll try to remove, because I have, you know, you probably see it if you watch any of my videos, all my kids running around. Or my kid running around, my baby crawling around. And then, you know, just the hustle, the bustle, and all the little kid stuff going on the TV and stuff like that. This NVIDIA broadcast will filter out the best it can. It does a pretty good job. So if there's a lot of noise going to the background, it distorts my voice, but you cannot hear what's going on. You just think that my audio sucks, which is something you can edit and uh, polish and premiere. And I may or may not do that in a future video. I don't want this one to be, like, ridiculously long. But then your speakers, I don't even worry about speakers. I leave it off uh, because... I don't care what the speakers, you know what I mean? Like, well, I don't care about my output. You know what I mean? I'm only playing music. And then camera is the big one here. So we got camera. Here's our blur, whatever. You see me twice here. There's also removal or replacement. So that you can like make different types of videos. You know what I mean? I use these effects a lot. Uh, there's an auto frame, which I was using for a while, but it was making my uh, camera lag. So it'll follow you around, give you that, uh, that effect, follow you around. That'll help you with the uh, Zoomer ADHD generation. But um, yeah, if you got the if you got the specs for your computer, it'll be good. I mean, once I I have my upgraded computer, I'm just too lazy to bring it out. But yeah, there's like a, you can have two effects on there too, or you can make it uh, for performance as well, which does affect it a little bit. Um, or you can adjust the strength and stuff like that. This stuff here, you know, you got a different settings for whatever uh, whatever you're on, whatever your computer is, 30 FPS, 60 FPS, whatever you want to do, and then you can then go to your OBS. And then when you go to your video capture device properties, you can set it for NVIDIA broadcast, or you can just go to your normal USB device to disable that if you just wanted a normal webcam scene too. There's a lot of different uh, options here. So yeah, um, now we're done recording. Let's say we stop recording. Then the next thing I do, uh, oh, sorry. Also, there is a spot, well, this whatever your default spot is fine, but I have a spot that I defaultly set for my videos and it's output videos here. And it's on my D drive because I have to have external storage because my videos, they, they take up a lot of space. If you look right here, I have almost a gigabyte or almost a terabyte of video uh, storage and other, other stuff. Like projects I'm working on, like modding and stuff. But yeah, so they'll come here and then uh, essentially these will come. Uh, now why I use these is to sort just for myself, just to find stuff. But the reason why we're sorting over here is because when you go and you get this, uh, this program handbrake, you can open source and then do a, a batch scan. So when you go to the folder, you hit batch scan, it'll scan, oops. You can do batch scan and then do like drama channel, select the folder. Oh, sorry. I guess there's nothing in there.
we'll just do, oops, sorry. Silly me. Oh, sorry, I, no, there's probably nothing in there either. I think there's some in here. Yep, just did that one. So we'll select that. It'll, put, it'll scan all three titles. And then when you add them to the queue, you can just add all. Start your encode. Oops, stop. Stop. Sorry. Right, then you can look at your queue here. And then it'll start everything in the queue and they'll compress it down to MP4. And then once you have some MP4s, then you can launch your editing software. I'm only going to go over Premiere today. I don't really care about DaVinci anymore. I don't want to re-download it for a video for my friends. Uh, but you could do these the same type of editing here. So you're going to open up your editing software. I haven't quite figured out if doing this in batches, like each step one at a time for a series of videos is better or doing them all sequentially yet. I'm still like, I already out a lot of details myself. And then I'll just do a new project and I'll name them something really cool, like poop a lot. And then like, uh, I hit enter too early, but so now it's frozen, but. We open up your scene. I'll just go back to import here, grab our video and then Raw recorded videos, that's where I export everything to. So like for instance, I'm just working on one. Uh, we don't even know. I have a lot of sorting I need to do, but. I wanted to show you an example. One sec. What is up YouTube.com? Don't just ignore it or whatever. But if you don't know what to... What is up YouTube.com? It's all gonna help on every... Okay, yeah, so we'll just do this one. 20, 24, 06, 27, 10, 17, 32. Yep. So then, you know, this is my video for my main channel that I will be dropping earlier today. And then you get yourself a scene. And then essentially what I do is, you know, I'll start playing it. I'll set it the rendering to quarter so that it doesn't lag. What is up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, Shabby Garrett's back with another video. In this video, I want to try to solve it. Oops. What is up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, Shabby Garrett's back with another video. In this video, I want to try to solve a very major issue I think is going on. Let's try to hear. I'll just try to listen for things that are wrong with the people. audio. If it's pretty and good, then I'll start speaking mindset. How to cure your negative mindset. How to fix your mindset. How to grow your mindset. How to make your mindset work for you instead of the way around. And then you want to go over my main strategy I use to get that done. Very simple strategy. Stick it out to the end. I promise you it's going to help you. Let's just go. And if this does help you, please subscribe. I'm going to be releasing daily content where I try to solve problem issues that I, you know, I'm researching constantly. Right. Okay. So here's a good spot. Um, so what I do is I'll go through and look for the gaps. You can see what the gaps are. Like this, for instance, there's going to be a cut tool. This should be like a word um or something like that. Oh, you know, every or a stutter. So then I'll cut that out. And then, you know, big jump cuts. But then also, too, I want to show you. Savvy cut. So at the website here, you just drag and drop the file, the MP4 or whatever. And then the AI, if it's less than 20 minutes for free, it'll try to detect all of the uh the silences for like you can move around the sliders and stuff like that um to get to automatically cut it out if you just want to do a low effort low whatever but i mean like i like to watch my content okay. to make sure like it's not what is shit youtube.com it's your boy shabby gear it's back with another video what is up what is up youtube.com speed it up look for these jump cuts one of the things i like the batch bunch of cuts. Negative mindset. how to cure a negative mindset how to fix your mindset how to grow your mindset how to mindset like I'll just go through and then find all the dead spots, even if they're not that long. So that is an important word. Sometimes these peaks in between a long, these peaks in the long, um, a silence is that you're usually like ubs or like how or do something. improve filler words? Sometimes they're important. Step one is we need to define mindset because to solve any problem, we need to know what it is, okay? So that bang bang. Just for all the zoomers out there, you, know, you gotta you gotta cut out all these black spaces or else they fuck off. If you don't say stuff like bazinga or um, what is it, uh, skibbity riz or you gotta say the zoomer words. Too much. And then, like for instance, I'm not gonna go through the whole video, but then I'll scroll back. And then shift select everything. There should be a similar function to this in um, DaVinci Resolve too, maybe. If not, you can just do it uh, by itself or you can just rely on Savvy Cut. But then I'll go boom. Oops. Damn it, I screwed up. Just pretend I did. And then I'll take it away and then clear all the ripples in one go. But then the other edit that I do normally is um, I will I have a bunch of uh, B-roll music. 
and I'll just grab a huge stack of them, and I'll just, oops, sp spread out my big old scene, and then I'll just drop them in, baby. And in that video, I'm going to go over my main strategy I use to get that done. It's a very simple strategy. You just stick it out till the end. So that there. So for the audio, is way too loud. Obviously, I found that 20 decibels for a standard track drops it to a level that is appropriate with your voice. But sometimes tracks are a little bit louder or softer, depending. So you just might need to adjust a little bit. I promise you, it's going to help you. Let's just go. And if it, this does help you, please subscribe. I'm going to be really... I should have said Bazinga here, but, you know, or, you know... Uh... Big chunk or something. daily content um, where I try to self help issues that I, you know, I'm researching constantly. I'm constantly looking stuff up. I just want to try to help as many people as possible. So, subscribe to this channel. You will be getting my best, you know, every day. I, every day. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're a Japanese. You're a yapper, bro. You're a big yapper. So, then we'll just, uh, we could, we could bulk select. We'll call it do some audio game. We're just going to cut it down. We're going to go to about where you can see a high spot, etc. Stuff like that. But, the high spot, you can Here see the that, thicker the line, that, uh, the thicker the, part, the, the louder the audio is Part be. of you will just give you energy to do that. Give you, like, relentless force. But you need a more compelling why for the more so That's not chill enough, actually. I don't like that because I, I want some boring elevator music because this is going to be content for some more normie people. Um, Reasons to live are a tough thing to find. To pay your rent like that, you know. So we're going to come over here, double tap, listen to it. Ooh, that's inspirational sounding. I'm checking over here at this thick part so you can see if the drop is going to be too hard. That's inspiring for an outro, but it's not good for just standard, um, in my opinion, standard uh, commentary. So we just got to find some like elevator music sound and shit. Oh, there we go. Is that the same? Is this Rainy Dreams? Hold on. Step one is we need to define. Well, but the only way you can draw from that. This is my raw process. You're getting it, you're getting it all. Hold on. Let me check my downloads. Curious dreams. Yeah, so that's my elevator music. Curious dreams. Rainfall dreams. Curious dreams. 57 seconds. Pop it in. And then this one. I don't know. Hold up. But you, if the, the reason why I suggest this is that, like, you want to keep it personal between you and yourself because you, you don't want other people involved in it, you know? So, and they look different. Got it. Okay. So, yep. MLG coming to the uh, clutch here. We're going to bring this over here. Some people are going to the heart. Or do you want some advice on? I am, you know, willing to how nice that sounds like you got a nice little bit of work to go research it and figure it out myself, or maybe I have personal experiences to help. Anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna do my outro now. This is just cutting the end off. Let's see, 15 seconds. Out. So with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Daily content. Peace out, I'm Johnny Garrett's peace out, youtube.com. Peace out. You see ya. Oh, I should have made myself big. Hold on. Peace out. I can put an explosion here. Let's just do that. I have some MLG uh, clips. Sick as fuck shit. Uh, explosion. It's got a Mountain Dew can. We just got to find the explosion part. It's right here. We'll just do this one. Nice and simple. Come back a frame. Cut. Delete. Slide. Oh shit. I deleted my track. It's all right. Yeah, bring it there. There we go. Okay. So then we want an explosion transition. So we need to find our cut. Gotta lock this so I don't clip it. Delete. Bring it back. Out. Oh. Yeah, we want that ex huge, obviously. This needs to be huge. So we're just gonna make it huge, and then we gotta go to uh, effects controls, I believe. No effects. We gotta look up alter key. We're gonna drag it here, put it into this clip. Uh, effect controls. If we click on the clip now, uh, alter key right here is a sound effect or an effect. And then if we ping the green with the dropper here, it'll take the green out. That's how you green screen. Oh, I should have made myself big. Hold on. Peace out.
Perfect. And then we're gonna take the lock off so I can go back to this. And then when I when I go into the outro, then we want to blow their minds with the loudness. And then when I find a spot like that, that's gonna be a transition. The thing I've been doing now, it's really funny. I don't think anybody's noticed yet because I'm not famous, but uh, we'll take a clip and then I will pull it out. I'm sorry, zoom in, take this clip here and we'll copy and paste it. That many times about probably like that. Just see how it sounds. Yep, see that? Created that effect. The the glitch. Just enough so that your brain can register that something's wrong and you're about to fucking get uh, skibbity rizzed or whatever they say. And then we come over here and we go to speed duration and we drop it, you know, maybe 75%. And that's going to lower lower it. And then we got effects here. So we got a reverb. Where is it? Studio reverb. And then pitch, pitch shifter. So then when we go to the effect controls, we want to go to the pitch shifter, edit, drop it down, maybe like two decibels here. And then we want the reverb, studio reverb, edit, wait. No, I think just the reverb on does it on its own. So yeah, so now we got it slowed. You know, we switch it up for their, you know, ADHD brain. I think even slower. We might need to go slower. Um, let's go even slower to 50% just to really stretch out those noises. Very TikTok, very TikTok. And then the last thing we're going to do is raise about eight decibels to blow your fucking eardrums out. The kids really like their eardrums blown out, so we're just going to go up two more decibels. We want to make sure that this hits the red. If this red, red normally means bad, but in this instance, red is good. Loud is funny. Have you ever heard loud is funny? Have you seen Will Ferrell before? But yeah. Cut off in a bad spot. Don't cut it off in a good spot. Don't make it make sense. It has to cut off randomly. Okay, so there's that. We're almost done. So now we're going to um, we have our explosion. So after the flame goes away, that's when we're going to get ourselves a. Um, we need some text. Okay, so we need the next frame, right there. We're going to put the text layer right here. This is where we drop our subscribe. Subscribe or else. No, no subscribe or else, but yeah. Um, that will just blow this up. You know, hell yeah. Thanks, bro. And then we'll stretch it out. But then we got to find our, um, where the skibbity riz starts. And then I'm just going to cut the text off so you're like, what? And then right when the, right when the, right when the, um, yeah, the skibbity riz starts. Then we're gonna drop another text layer. Wait, click off text, please. Did I just add another text that last one? Yes, it did. <laughs> That's kind of good, actually. I think that'd be funny. Maybe I'll put that right there to make it look like I made a mistake. Yeah, put it right there in the corner there. Like I'm some plan. Anyway, and then we'll do this. Okay, so we got a new text layer again. Oopsie, sorry. Got a new text layer. And then, actually, we'll bring it back a few. Just so you can cut, I'm going to cue you in case you don't notice what's going on. Because we got a lot of, maybe a few more, right? Okay. Yep. So here, we're going to um, change the text to, oh my gosh. Can you believe that? Can you believe what's going on here? Oh my God. Uh, maybe a cry. Or no, 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 no. Perfect. We'll do. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Click. 
then B will select this here. And then I do the clip right here. And then this is going to be, oh my gosh. Oh, maybe one, two. I think two is good. We're distraught now, right? Okay. So we're distraught. Um, we just got skibbity. Yeah, that looks good. It's moving. It moved a little bit. So now you're like a little bit intense. And then we need to go to effect controls. We need to go to scale. We're going to start a stopwatch here. So the stopwatch is going to tell us we're starting an animation. And this is going to stretch out the entire duration. Okay, then we're going to stop maybe a couple frames before the end. Okay, that's really far. Sorry, yep. Sorry, still a beginner here. Uh, so we're going to pull in. Right, and then we're gonna, whoop, sorry about that. Oh, sorry. And then we're going to really just, about here, let's say about here. Now that we're here, because we started our animation, we're going to just drag this all the way up. As high as it'll go. I don't like that it's zooming over there. Oh, it's probably because of my uh, reference. So we want it to end here. Okay. What the heck? slide it around all right so now we'll see our finished effects here we'll just play it back for you guys willing to put in the work to go research it and figure it out myself or maybe i have personal experiences to help you out so with that being said i'll catch you in the next video daily content peace out of johnny garrett's peace out youtube.com peace out you see ya oh i should have made myself big hold on peace out perfect And there you have it. Now you're going to go to export. So what I do is I send it to the media encoder. As I have a separate program that uh, exports the video. So then I can just go right into editing my next video. What's media? This is why I bought the uh, pay, -to -pay, -to -pay, pay to play package as well. Because if you do it on DaVinci, then you're kind of land You're like uh, RAM locked, CPU locked. Can't really do anything. And then, boom. So we got our folder here and then we're just going to start the queue and then now we get the queue started we just get the uh youtube tab up ready to go And then you get uploaded once it's done, you know, done encoding, upload it, do all that other stuff. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Hope that was informative. Uh, hope you guys learned what you need to. Hopefully I inspired you to become a YouTuber. Um, it's pretty epic. I like it. It uh, pays the bills. All right. Well, if you could subscribe, that'd be sweet. So I'll catch you guys later in the next one. Oh, shit. My bad. Uh, yeah, I got to show you guys how to make a thumbnail, too. Whoops. Yeah, so let's just jump into that real quick. So, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so you got to open up Photoshop or Paint 3D. Uh, Paint 3D is the same. You want to make sure your canvas is like 1280 or 720. So we're going to take that off so I can make this 720 because that's your thumbnail uh, size, right? Okay. So like essentially you got two main strategies to make a thumbnail. You can go to uh, one second. I got a tool for you. This should be, this should have been what I led the entire um, chat with. Um, and that's, you know, you chat GPT, and then you go make me a sick thumbnail, please, of some cool stuff. Haha, <laughs> LOL. And then when that, when you're waiting for that, you kind of, you know, 
uh, part. Uh, then we take, uh, we go to our folder where all our, our pictures, and essentially you're just gonna have a photo shoot with yourself one day when you're bored, and you're just gonna take a bunch of funny pictures of yourself. You know, you like, we got the soy jack, we got the, um, we got the uh, terrified soy jack, we got the, you know, oh, oh, we, oh, oh, we, yep. And the more depraved you can be, um, the better. Um, and if anybody's asking, I did not uh, drink to take these. I just. Uh, this is how I am normally. So, yep. So you get some normal pictures for normal stuff. And then, you know, just your run of the mill, depraved, uh, unhinged craziness. Uh, you know, the, all the, the only, only a face, uh, a zoomer could love if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So I got a little bit of something there, but yeah. So, you know, we got some cool ones. I think personally, these are pretty cool. Um, uh, nah, people don't care about that. We're going to go like here. We're gonna copy this over and then we're gonna use this here you know we got the picture and then we are going to use this thing called magic select and if you use magic select which is like paint 3d's um super saiyan um ai it can pop yourself right off and then you can bring it you know slide it over and now it's its own object too so you can delete that whoops grab it again now it's an object and you can just like you know shrink yourself make yourself big whatever that's your standard um, paint 3D t uh, effect here. You know, as you can see, this is going to be a good video since I'm very I'm using my thumbs up here. Um, then we need to go back to our ChatGPT. Okay, cool. So this works perfectly. If we just take this, and then you know. I think a lot of the internet now is just like being as um, crazy and stupid as possible. So this is going to work really good. I think if we just take this here, I just got to line it up with my face a little bit. I think, wait, wait, wait. yeah, put that back in. Um, and then, you know, oh yeah, I can just, okay. We just, can I, why can't I edit the, yeah, I'm not very good with paint 3d anymore. Cause I don't really, okay. So we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to take that copy it delete it again whatever um uh canvas change the what the canvas is not oh the height change uh but bro right so we're just gonna copy it back in we'll have ourselves a decent enough canvas here we can just like canvas um let's crop it where's the crop button right there we'll just crop it down to where i am and then, you know, this will be interesting enough to get you like 10 views because you got a cool character, uh, the words obscured. Uh, essentially, this will just make someone mad enough that they all probably like really stop to look at it. So then I think then it's kind of captured its effect. Then if you don't have Photoshop 2, the thing I used to do then was to go here and look up a thumbnail text generator. And then we go to textcraft.net. And then you come here and then I come down right for the, uh, you know, Minecraft text is pretty cool, but if this was Roblox, this would be a lot better. Maybe they have a Roblox down here. Roblox is very cool. Pokemon, that's too millennial. GTA is pretty cool, the Zoomers, I see that a lot too. It's a good crossover too. If you wanna to try to capture as many um, Zoomers and Millennials at the same time. Uh, there's not a lot of Boomer stuff down here, um, but sometimes I just use YouTube Sextile too, but most of the time I'll just get um, GTA. And then I'll switch to Chunk 5 and then grab myself a nice, let's see, let's look at our uh, color here, our storyboard. And we got that. Um, looks like a white with a black background would be, or a black outline would be good. Um, so maybe this one, maybe that looks cool. And then we're gonna take this here and we're gonna go, yo, sup, or th um, click here now. And then uh, take that away and then boom, we gotta click here now and then we copy paste from here. And then go here and blam. Why didn't it copy? Copy image. Okay. Yep. And then we click here now. And then uh, you're gonna make it huge. Maybe yeah. Maybe even like obscure it a little bit with the thumb and the hat, just so we have that depth to the uh, thumbnail now. And then there you go. There's your basic uh, standard uh, thumbnail and paint 3D. Also, this line here is very nice too. I like doing crude stuff. Um, on purpose a little bit too, because then that kind of covers up. It makes me feel better when people say your shit sucks and I go, I know I did that on purpose. 
so then you're kind of you're in control it's like a power play uh, I think that's like a new tuber uh, life hack right there so we'll head over to Photoshop and then this is also something you can do so you grab your um, over here this is quick and easy just grab a gradient you know yellow black is really good I like a lot of blues uh, blues are nice um, you get a lot of gradients to choose from here it's a very standard easy pinks are good they stick out like a sore thumb they hurt your face kind of a noodle the more like you you need to find a balance of hurting your face and um then walk it back one step so you find something that you hurt your face like this one hurts my face pretty hard so you know i see see my face when i see that i'm like mm. but then you walk it back one and then that's not as bad you see how it's softer a little bit a little bit softer you know that one's a little bit better so this one here hurts your face so then we're just gonna can we, can we rough it up? Oh, it don't, don't matter. Oh, whatever. Uh, whatever. Let me do something like that. Or this. I like that one a lot. And then, I like this. This is a good one. Uh, so then we can go back to our pictures here. And then we'll just grab like a really, this this one. Maybe we'll do them both. So if we come in here, we copy it. And then we can transform the layer. We'll bring it down to a 1280, you know, real quickly here. We'll just grab it, slide it over. Kind of want to, you want to kind of have your end position in mind. This looks sweet. I think I'm going to do this. And then, you know, I got my, uh, you know, alleged girlfriend back there, uh, female. Maybe somebody, somebody with that. Anyway, so yeah, so if you do control J, it'll make another layer. Then you can either uh, just hide it so that you can um, try to grab a different frame or just delete it like I always do. Because then you mess up and then you can't take it back. And then we'll just, you know, we got to select the right layer. And then we're going to just erase her, like, uh, what's that guy's name? Thanos, the Thanos meme. He snaps his fingers, snap, can you hear it? Can you snap, can you hear it? Snap, anyway, back at it. And then I think also too, which would be a good idea is if we just grab this one as well. And then we put them both in the same thumbnail. Uh, maybe that would even be funny, just a huge face. And then, I don't know, maybe, maybe. You know, we'll copy it, we'll just run the layer back. Um, and then we'll just hide the bigger one and then we'll shrink this one in case I don't like this, uh, 1280p and then we'll, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Actually, I think that's going to be perfect. So then, yeah, we'll make another layer and we'll just delete this one, get rid of it. See how that's perfect. It's like the, um, uh, it's like a, like the Triforce from Zelda. Oh wait, that's too old of a reference, I think. But yeah, it's like I cloned myself. So they're gonna think that AI did this because obviously I don't have a twin. Um, that's that's the uh, trend on the internet now is like everybody in the comment section says everything's AI. So yeah, we got that. Oh, we got that nice depth. Oh my God, we have so much depth here. We're behind this one and we're in front of this one. We're keeping it. Okay, so we got the, this is the text color I always use because I like RuneScape Gold. Um, so what do we do? Step, uh, complete. Complete guide. Um, and then we're just gonna make another layer. Step, step. So this one's gonna be in front. So to move it in front, you just do that. I step. So this one, oh, perfect. I think that's a good idea. So then if I do this and I'll just cut it out and then I'll just like step, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like steps. It's like little steps. Does this make sense? Does this get a logical flow here? See, because you know, you got these little lines too, so you line it up and make it like a perfect step staircase. You know what I mean? So it's kind of right there in the center there. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of obscured here and then we get step by step. And then the last thing we're going to do is um, we're going to put outlines on them just so they pop better. So we got the bevel emboss, which is going to give us a nice black outline. And then we're going to put a red stroke on it too, just to make it stand out a little bit more. I want it to stand out a little, little bit more. So I'm just going to make the, uh, that a little bit little, uh, thicker. And then we are going to go to our layers. And I don't know. I don't know. Actually, we'll just we'll see what the stroke looks like. It's a little tacky, but we like that. The black outline. Hmm. Nah, I think just, I think this is plain j or good enough. Like sometimes less is more. You know what I mean? Um, so we're gonna just bevel emboss and stroke on every single one of these layers here. And then we're gonna go bevel emboss and stroke here. And then we're gonna go um, bevel emboss and stroke here. And then, you know, I don't really wanna choose between these two. I think they're real, both really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, save as image. Yeah, a ping image, sure, whatever. 
this is really good for sure. And then that's what I call it just to make sure I remember. And then I'm not going to save my work. I already exported it. And then over here in Photoshop, you just do quick export as a ping. And then we're going to do sweet. This is nice too. I should use it as well, probably. Uh, comma, but I'll think about it for a minute. And then that's why I'm going to name that one just to make it nice and easy. So that if we head back to our video. Oh, wait, no, you already saw the creation process. So there's our thumbnail. And then, oh, wait, no, I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll meet you guys back when I'm getting to the creative process for putting the video up. I can give you guys the full tour. Okay, anyway, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'll see. Yo, so welcome back. We, uh, I just realized that I can't upload the video until I finish it to put it together and then upload it. So I just have a, a placeholder called StarCraft Brew War Terran Jesus Bless This, you know, because we're very devout. And um, so I'm just going to show you how I make my titles. And essentially how we make the titles is if we go to YouTube.com. Um, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy. That's me. YouTube.com studio, and if we go to analytics, we go to the inspiration. This kind of teaches you, this shows you what people who watch your content are looking for. As you can see, uh, a lot of people who watch me are Sam Cedar fans, uh, Tony Robbins, Sam Cedar, Tony Robbins, and some guy named Michael Mugjugos. They really like 3M. So then, you know, how to get better at anything, how to improve mindset, whatever, all this stuff. Oops. Oh, okay, so we'll grab snipping tool here. I'll just grab all these, and then I'll head back to uh, ChatGPT, and then we will uh, plop this in. Okay, so, okay, so I'm making a video title for a how to make YouTube videos. Um, is there any way we can make uh, any of these keywords go into my title for this, or what should we do? You know what I mean? Then you just wait for the uh, chat for uh, Skynet to uh, tell you. There we go. Most important skill for improving your YouTube videos. How to enjoy working on your YouTube channel. Tips and tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, this is Ojama Geertz's is a step by step guide. Do these titles work or what do you think? I'm just a pleb. Right? You know what I mean? Just being humble, it'll help you, you know. The titles are strong and effective. They just clearly communicate the value of content, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so none of these work because I don't have any brand. Like, I, I would like to be a brand one day, but I know that I have no brand, so I need to deliver you um, this, like, type of um, making videos and content. How to improve your mindset and get better at creating YouTube content. I think this is a good one. Um... Let me look at the uh, picture. How to get better at anything, how to improve mindset, the most important skill for improving your life, how to enjoy working out. So I don't think I can include working out here, so we'll just cut that one. But I think that mindset and um, improving your life, how to improve your mindset and get better at creating YouTube content. I think this is, um, this might work. So then we're gonna head back to our channel. We're gonna see how much room we have left in the title so that we can do um, step by step uh, uh, beginner guide. Like using words like that are really going to trigger perfect see 100 characters right there so that that's going to be the uh, title uh it was meant to be that is also more proof right here that god is real obviously and um yeah you can't really tell me anything else so then we need a description so then what i do is i take my title here we'll plug it in then i'll just start describing the uh, video so in this video i go over how or my workflow from start to finish on how I make YouTube videos. This started because I asked a skibbity blop friend of mine if he wanted to see if or how I make videos. So he has kind of an idea to start his own. Uh, so then I just break down from the beginning my uh, creative process and idea generation. So this isn't dead content because I'm talking the whole time, even though I'm just typing and then talking, but this isn't dead content. As long as there's not like, as long as you continuously talk forever, then it's not dead content. You should be able to stretch out your, uh, your, uh, your, your video time. So that's like just how I do it. You just talk and just never stop talking. Even if like, it's called yapping, Japanese. Uh, you just talk 
and talk and talk. And even if you don't really deliver any value, just keep talking and make sure that you take lots of breaths so that you have enough air to just keep continuously talking forever. Anyway, back to the, um, back to this. Uh, in this video, I go over to work forward to start fish. I make YouTube videos to start because I asked my skibbity, skibbity goop lot friend of mine if he wanted to see how I make videos. So he has kind of an idea to start his own. Then I just break down from the beginning of the creative process and idea generation. Then what did I do next? I, uh, I <coughs> showed my storyboard process. I showed then uh, how to compress and then edited a video live to show. Hi, Eli. Sorry about that. Um, I showed them how to compress and then edit. My, my son wanted a high five. Uh, so I then show how to compress and then edit a video live to show all the skills and some easy tips and tricks to capture the audience's heart, mind, and soul in one little neat package. Then from there, I uh, forgot that I needed to show how to make a thumbnail, so I did that. Then I showed them how to, uh, or, you know, how to um, uh, make them or something. Then I revealed my secret life hack, which is just talking to you about every fluid, every little detail. And then now I'm on the part where I need a description. So can you make one that encapsulates all of this? And then also in the first three sen sentences hit all the keywords in the title to uh, pretty plus uh, thank you very much. Always be polite to the AI because you know it's it's awake. You know it's awake. It's Skynet, and you want to be on the uh, top of the nice list. Um, you know what I mean? Just showing a little appreciation for it. So when it like plugs us into the pod and creates the matrix, and then when Neo tries to free us, then we'll be Agent Smith instead of the um, people he snatches their bodies up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. So then we do that. Wait for uh, whatever. In this video, I go over my workflow, start to finish, and I make YouTube videos. You know, because I asked a skibbity Google off friend of mine if you want to see the video. Yep, yep. All right, yeah. So perfect. I'm glad that he um, included specifically this part. I think that's very, very important. First, I show my storyboard process. Da, da, da. I'm saying, no, 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 please. I'll just delete the timestamps. It's fine. We just won't say timestamps. Um, uh, do, do, do. We'll just do this. We'll just grab it all. Nah, yeah, you know what I mean? We'll just go back now. So this is my preset description that I have that I always put on the end of all my videos. And then I'm gonna take, you know, it would be kind of funny if I left all these timestamps in here, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. Oops. Yeah, so. All right. Gotcha. All right, so, yep, so that's good here. And then we'll just gonna, you know, you got this test and compare button here now, so you can use these three thumbnails. So then we'll just grab my thumbnails that I made for the video that I showed you guys how to make. And then an extra spicy one that I made that I just gotta, I just had another idea and I thought it was amazing. So then I just wanted to test it against my really good ideas here too. And then, um, so we got them and they're gonna upload all three of these. And then bam, done. And then for your playlist, whatever, this is, you know, whatever, unfuck your life, it sounds great. And then, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't want to make for kids. No, whatever. You don't want to do it. You don't want to contain that. You want to say no, no AI. I usually take this stuff off because these are pretty cool, but they don't really work that well. Then I have um, kind of preset tags that you can set in your settings. Um, you know, recording date to day, whatever. Creative comments. I like this because um, I want to set myself up to be able to steal other people's content. Or not steal, you know, use borrow ideas, etc. But they would view it as stealing. But so I don't want to like walk into the hypocrisy of not doing it myself. And this is kind of a how-to video and style. And I want to, you know, be in the same uh, category as people who are doing makeup tutorials too. Um, yeah. So then you'd go to next, next, next visibility, but I got to delete this because this isn't a real video. So then I'll cancel the upload. And then there you have it guys. That's how you do it. And there's my whole workflow. There's everything you need to know. 
and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See you later. Ooh, one person disliked that. Ooh, ouch.